break from the book reviewing uh, to play the best fucking Sony game ever. Well, the first one's my favorite, but these are all fucking perfect. Um, this is Age Escape 2, obviously, and Sony needs to bring us Age Escape 4 for the anniversary, so I figured I'd go ahead and stream this masterpiece. Um, this is, like, one of my favorite, like, Sony games, like, period. I think I've said that already, but my goal here is just to share it with as many people who actually watch my channel as possible. Um, so, let's see. I intend to catch all of the apes, if possible. Um, I mean, we're gonna do it. There's absolutely no way we're not gonna catch all the apes. Because that would be insanity, and I would be a scrub for not doing it. So, unless I get cancer. Alright. Let's see how this goes. I've been, like, playing this series since I was, like, I don't even know, like, probably in elementary school, and it's, like, <laughs> uh, I don't know if, pe if people, I'll, I'll talk to you right. Right. <clears throat> I have a thing to ask you. you. Well, I'm well, way. Could you use the transporter to... <laughs> Did they get to anyway? <laughs> Send these newly designed packs to Monkey Park for me. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> it makes the delicate machine, so be careful not to overload it. To me. I sent the professor stuff, okay? Oh no. Is this like the English version? Like the British version? Get down! What do you want? You've exceeded the weight limit! Don't worry, the stuff went through fine. Oh no, this isn't the... <laughs> These aren't the voice actors I grew up with. Hands on their own shouldn't have exceeded the weight limit! No, no, get her right for oh, that to me! What? What? Yeah, then. See? see? Everything arrives safe and sound. Oh, no! <laughs> They're so cute, the, the monkeys in this cool? game. Just like the cheese. Oh. It's not cool, believe no. me. No! That's not the point. That type of helmet is different from the cheese. It's caused us <laughs> big problems in the past. When monkeys put those helmets on, they get into all kinds of mischief. <laughs> Wow, oh, a white monkey! What? Better! Oh no, it's happening again! Oh, I hate her voice it's actress. I'm oh, sorry, but... Better is a smart one. We don't know what he might I'll do. get over it. powers to take control over the other monkeys. What should we do? Looks like they're having fun. What are you talking about? We have to get all the monkey helmets back before the professor returns from his trip. What? Why me? Oh. Because you messed it up. Get oh. it moving! Okay, I'll fix things. Oh. So, in the uh, in the American version, um, I already forgot her name. Natsumi, I think she's voiced by a. Uh, uh, Misty from Pokemon, and uh, uh, Jimmy is voiced by uh, Ash Ketchum, so I think that's pretty cool. I don't know why. I don't know why this like why uh, PlayStation stores, the American PlayStation stores, selling the. Uh, oh, how do I switch again? Let's see. Uh, um, use gadget. All right. Oh, okay. There we go. So back to start. Um. Okay. I see. All right. 
Sorry, I haven't played this in a while. I probably don't even need to uh, uh, whack those ones. Some of them you need to whack. Uh, I'm trying to remember how you jump in this thing. Oh, okay. I think the controls are just different. Why am I... So some of them have like weapons and stuff. So that's why I kind of instinctively whack them. Uh... These things you have to kill to get catch them. But um, yeah, I think this is actually the first one that I played, I'm not sure. Uh I think I played the first one later. Um I can't remember. But this is like I fucking love this game. Um so goofy. The, uh, the 20th anniversary is coming up, I think I said that already. Like, I'm so bad. Oh, he whacked me. Alright. Fuck, there we go. Got him. So, for these worlds, I'm later gonna have to come back and catch the, uh, the monkeys that are remaining. I don't know if I caught all of them for that level. But I can't remember how many are actually in that level. Alright. Welcome. This has been our new home since you blasted the lab. I had to build it out of the remains of my own room. Why the fuck is your room so big? The the front run, to go and catch run. monkeys. Okay, um... I've also made a save port. It's really useful. Oh, I also apologize in advance for, uh, people who, uh, like, kids who are trying to watch. I Did will curse a lot if I have it. Have a break. So, uh, if you're watching and I'm cursing at the storm, just make sure your parents aren't there. Because, <laughs> uh, I'm getting in trouble and <laughs> I don't want to deal with that. But, uh, if they don't see it, uh, I can teach some curse words. Not really, please don't curse in school. All right, uh... Here, you can play them, but you'll have to win them, but no mini games here. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of different shit you can do over here. Yeah, you can um, the data and the various items that you got. The, uh, these are mostly, like, collectibles and shit, like the Monkeypedia. So there's two more monkeys over there. Um, uh, that I have to get, and I might go ahead and get those, since there's only two of them. Uh, this is, like, just to train you for your gadgets, obviously. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and grab these. Um, a lot of them, a lot of the stages I won't bother to go back to immediately, um, because I don't want to spend a lot of time doing, uh, at once doing them. Um, but like, I will go back to them eventually. Alright. And there's also a, uh, a machine in the, uh, uh, lab that will, uh, let you buy, like, uh, health and different, like, collections and stuff. Um... I can't remember if that's just unlocked from the start or not, but that's essentially all these coins are for. They're not really for anything that's important. I mean, I guess the health is kind of important. Um, wow, these... Alright. Alright. No! Alright, there we go. Fucking monkey. That one actually needed to be whacked. Oh, Tom Keepers. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, a lot of them have, like, really cute, uh, punny kind of names, you know? Um, 
Let's see how I can get up there. I might not be able to get up there right now, but let's see. See the cookies on the top. Each time you're injured, if you lose all of your cookies, you're... nobody wants to see that happen. Cookies can be found during the left. If this is like the international version or whatever, um, I don't know, I thought cookies were called something different overseas. I guess she called them biscuits earlier, but she also called them cookies. You guys have to correct me on that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright. I don't think I don't think I can get up there yet, can I? Because I know there's a monkey up there. You know what it is? I need the slingshot to knock him down. So we will um leave for now. I think that's what it is. Let me look real quick. Uh A lot of the time you can't get the monkeys yet because you have to get other tools to get them. So I will have to come back here later. Alright. So we will uh, come back for him. Uh, I think I just head back where I came from, don't I? Or leave the stage. Um, let's see, I'm trying to remember. But yeah, I love this game because it's so fucking cute and it's like really, really addicting. Like, um, uh, it, I think it got compared a lot to other collector songs, like Pokemon and songs, but it's pretty different. seeks out those cheeky monkeys. First, you should practice in the gadget trainer. Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? Creatures and stuff. The, the monkeys in this one. My scarf got a little fucked up. I don't need the gadget trainer, bitch. I'm a fucking... Not really a pro with this. I, I've been pretty bad, but, uh... I swear to God. I refuse to do tutorials. Unless I'm, like, really, really... Alright. There's some of them that if you know, doing the tutorials is actually good for. Those things are weird. Alright. Uh, I gotta make sure we set the monkey in a sec. I think in um, their pants, depending on what pants they're wearing, determine like what kind of monkeys they are. Like monkeys in blue pants are cowardly, if I remember correctly. And, uh, monkeys in, like, red pants are uh, more aggressive. Uh, I think monkeys in black pants are, like, uh, I don't know why, but they're, like, savage as fuck. If I remember correctly. I don't know. I, I can't remember if they're, like, if I'm remembering all the pant colors right. But those, those monkeys in the, with the machine guns are crazy. They're cool, though. I love them. Um, I love, like, the sense of humor of this game. Um, the first one has, like, a lot of time travel and shit. Um, be fun. I can't remember if this one does, too. Uh, for... The only reason I'm not streaming the first one first is because it's, um, it's not on the uh, PS4, and I don't have a reliable capture card for, uh, uh, for older systems. Alright. So we got those done. We gotta look for the, uh, I, I missed the monkey earlier. And I'm sure he's hiding in the area. Oh, he's so you can sneak up on him. Like, I don't remember how to crouch. Um, I do not crouch in this one. Anyway, you can creep by by pressing it real gently. All right. Um, 
<laughs> I can't wait to get those slingshot. These flying enemies are a little annoying. Oh wait, I forgot I can fucking jump! Alright. Son of a bitch! Alright. Got him. Okay. Got it. Him too. Exactly why they gave us the companion monkey. I think it's just for like little mini game type stuff. And like later sections. Or I don't know if they just needed a mascot or what. So if you go ahead and nice over there. The 10 gold coins. The items that you win here at the mini game corner. I'll show so what you do is you whack this, whack that, got an enemy photo, one of those weird big things, um, go here, alright, I'll try not to stream this for an extended period of time, probably an hour or two. I actually have to get things done, but I really wanted to stream today for some reason. So yeah, you get little comic strips too, like this. Uh, they're just kind of googing. Uh, monkeys obviously become more complicated to catch. Uh, we have different weapons. They're in weirder spots. Quaz, well, name my car? I guess the American version is name my car. I'm not remembering that wrong. Maybe I just made fun of him by calling him Jimmy. <laughs> He's fucking stories. Yeah, and they're all in parts, so it kind of encourages you to keep, uh, probably not because this is, like, really early in the game, and if I die, I'm pathetic, uh, but I'll do it, just do it. A lot of the things I do, I do to make sure I make a habit of doing them. Oh no, did it. Did it fuck up? Alright. The has got your gadget too. The Aquanet is used to help you swim. You'll be swimming like a fish if you practice in the Do you want to go to the gadget trainer now? I don't know why, uh... I don't know why fucking, uh, Sony hates me sometimes. But... So I gotta catch five monkeys. Okay, so it does seem to be working. It's a little behind. Uh... But... Alright! Let's see here. So, choose gadget. I'll assign that one to like. No. That one goes there. This one goes there. Alright. And this is basically just to. It's like a. We're detecting monkeys. And you have a little monkey cam. See what you know, what the deal is, stats and all that. All right. So I can't remember if we can die or not. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Um, so dive. I promise these monkeys are evil, by the way. Don't look like it right now, but uh, I promise I'm not just torturing innocent monkeys. Alright. Some of y'all are gonna make fun of me because I should have been using the tutorial. Yeah, alright. Yeah. This is like the open gate. Yeah. I'll go into the sack. Figuring yeah. that as little as any items as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking monkey, dude. I don't know. They all have very weird names in this level. I don't know if it's supposed to be some... I don't actually know what it, the deal is supposed to be. Let's see. Alright. I'm hoping 
this rat broadcast doesn't turn out like shit. Um, this is my internet not perfect. Uh, all right. Myself with the net. Underwater net. Alright. Okay. The dash gadget first rapidly rotates. When it press the left analog stick, you'll, you can also damage enemies by slamming into. Try it on those freaks. Essentially, for the first boss, um, I mean it's important later on too, but it's like especially important for the first boss. It's like the way you get him. Uh, so I wasn't as uh, pathetic as I thought I was. With this All right. Nine monkeys this time. Um, let's see. That one's definitely gonna require the uh, the hoop. Alright. Okay, so we are gonna assign that gadget to triangle. Alright. I thought I was doing that. Alright. Yeah. Um, give me just one second. I will be right back. Gotta get my roommate something. Oh, 
my ass. Alright. I mean, don't literally eat my ass, because that'd be gross, but alright. Alright, I hate those little weird shit pig things. They do look like shit pig things though, right? It's not just me. Alright. Uh, there we go. Uh, later you get a, uh, a thing to kind of like fly. I say fly, but it's like fairly limited. I forgot to drop bananas, those ones. Alright. I knew they had to do they did something special, I couldn't remember what it was. Alright. Um in my house, I can get people into this game. I don't know how many people I can be here uh, didn't actually watch my stream, but I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping someone, uh, will see this in the I want to play in this game. God, these things, alright. So, God, it's very, really ridiculous. Alright. I don't know if you can tell, like, it's like step dodging and shit. Okay, so how this works is you have to use the move for that one. Back up on that one. All right. God, I hate those things. They're so gross. Maybe I'm alone in that, but they, they really look like they have shit on their heads. Yeah, got him. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a... Uh... uh, there are like little things like, uh... Alright. That one's a hula hoop thing too. Okay. I'm gonna assume that everything in this level kind of relies on it. That's those bumblebee things. All right. Wait, does it? Ah, uh, that's. It's not a hula hoop thing then. All right, let's do that. I probably didn't have to hit that one, I kind of feel guilty. Alright. So basically, like, the, the helmets, like, make them, like, super intelligent. Um, but, like, for some reason, they always become evil. I think a lot of it has to do with Spectre. Um, you know, the, uh, albino monkey. And he, uh, he's kind of a bad influence. I don't remember that he did the shit though. I think I can get out that one. The, the hoop. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I can, alright. So I wasn't just goofing around. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. I apologize if I'm a really slow player. Uh, I'm gonna re on my. Alright. I don't think I'm doing the whole of thing right. Alright. Alright. Actually did it okay that time. Alright. I'm sure there's someone who can like speed run this in like two seconds. Might be 
good about that one. Oh, no, okay. I messed up. Alright. I hate these roofs. I told you I was shit with a hula hoop. If you slow down by hitting one of the walls, I think that's what blocks you a lot of the time. Okay. And so now we have to make sure we, uh... I'm 
Oh, no. So I'm afraid that's what I must do. Don't take it personally, kid. I'm doing this for all the little monkeys out there. Come on, then! <laughs> well, you're definitely not a coward, are you? Hey, kid, don't you know that you've got to be careful at traffic lights? Let me give you a lesson in road safety. Come and get me! Go! go! Obviously, any complaints I have against the voice acting is are probably pretty really biased. Um, because the voice acting's fine. It's more just that um, I'm used to the other. So that was the. I'm probably gonna. 
but I will uh, show you guys what I get here. All right. Uh, let me see if I get anything here. The only reason I'm really cutting it short for now is because I'm really hungry. I think the fortunes affect like the stuff that you get. You know what? I might actually play one more just to see if that's true or not. Alright. I'm trying to do that. Um, I played this game way too much. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead Yeah, they can get towards another prize, but it's like, why? <laughs> why are you giving me these? Um, it just feels so like, I don't know, anti-climatic. Alright. And these, uh, these like short story things that they do, uh, they give you. Yeah, that's kind of special, they're kind of cute. That one's actually good, because it gives me a... Uh, I can just spot out a uh, different thing with what they gave me there. Alright. that banana looks. It's kind of creepy. Yeah, this game... Some of its humor is pretty potty humor. Um, but it's still like... I like how cute and wacky and weird it is. Um, some of the stupid jokes are pretty funny, too. A lot of them are, actually. Um, so, I'm trying to think if I should, you know what, I will show you Castle of Frightmare, that's the last one I'll do, I promise, uh, <laughs> you don't have to suffer, uh, me much longer, um, and then, I do plan to, uh, upload, um, videos of this, uh, until I'm done. Um, I figure it's a good thing to fill my channel with, uh, while I take forever to read things. A lot of the time, I don't, I don't like reviewing books, but I just can't really say something nice about, or I can't, I can say something nice about, but, like, the nice things kind of don't, I don't know. I don't really like shitting on her. So, I mean, the reason it takes me so fucking long to, uh... to upload, like, book reviews and stuff is because I, I read a lot of bizarre books and some of them I like more than others. And there's some that I like, um, but, like, I don't really know how to... I don't really know how to, like, say, uh, what I like about them in a, in an interesting way, or in a way that I think properly expresses why I like them. Like, I was considering reviewing, um, Shatnerquake, um, and I love, as much as I, like, love Shatnerquake, uh, the, uh, Jeff's writing style in that one isn't 
as refined as it is in Shatner Quest, and I love Shatner Quest. Like, I absolutely love Shatner Quest. Um, but I still... The reason I haven't reviewed Shatner Quest is mostly just because it's the first one I read and I hadn't set up the channel yet. Oh, fuck. Um, so I didn't, like... I kind of just forgot to do it, to be honest. Oh, I'll probably have to review that later. I'll probably read it again and then review it later. I really like the Shatner quest. But yeah, as much as I love Shatner quest, I feel like if I reviewed it, it might seem harsher than I actually intended to be. Because there's things I can nitpick and whatnot. I don't want to be like that. Alright, so I'm just being dumb. You can't actually hit him. Alright. Oh, these things are kind of goofy. But yeah, I, I do, I am still going to be reviewing books and whatnot. I might even branch out of Bizarro as well and just kind of review indie things that I like. I don't really want to start reviewing like big budget books because like what's the point, you know? Like, I just want to review like stuff in the indie scene. Um, try to bring it into the people I believe in. Um, like, Bizarro Writers, I think you should, you need to read are, um, Danger Slater, Madeline Swan, uh, Carlton Malik, obviously, Jeff Burt, uh, Ryan Allen Todd. Oh no, did I fall? I'm falling. Uh, I think the last one is with Brian Allen Carr. Uh, definitely Brian Allen Carr, uh, James Slater, uh, Carlton Malik, Jen Carter. Uh, I like, uh, what was I gonna say? I like Bradley Sands too. Um, I don't think I did a, a review for Rico Slate. I kinda wanted to, I just forgot. Uh, that's all another one of the kind of first ones that I read. Um, yeah, there's a ton of Bizarro books I want to read uh, from authors that I haven't even read yet. So I just haven't had a chance. I'm kind of in the middle of, uh, I'm in the middle of, uh, Girl Like a Bomb by, uh, Autumn Christian. And that one's not, like, Bizarro. But Autumn's really talented, so I might review it. He is a Bizarro author as well, so, um, I do plan to review that, but, like, I don't know, I've had to be kind of picky about the things I actually do review, because I get frustrated, um, I forgot you actually have lines in this, you're kind of used to playing, uh, I'm used to playing Dark Souls for whatever reason. Because I play a lot of Dark Souls with my life. Um, and like, just automatically losing if you die. I have been playing Sekiro though, I love Sekiro. And... That one you can die multiple times and... Um, uh, and then resurrect. But like... Punishes you a lot harder than Dark Souls does if you actually do die, like, period. And I don't know, I love Sekiro. It's one of my favorite uh, uh, from software games. Like, uh, I would definitely say it's up there with Dark Souls 1. I loved Bloodborne as well. Um,. I didn't like the Dark Souls sequels very much. Like, I I hated Dark Souls 2. And I appreciated things in Dark Souls 3, but... They were just, like... I don't know, it just felt kind of... It felt kind of like a rip-off of its own first game. By the people who made the first game. It's just a lot of fan service. And while I like that to an extent, it also feels like, uh... It also just feels like we didn't get nearly enough, uh... 
the world isn't like the world isn't open and like as it is in like Dark Souls 1. Like it's so linear and like it doesn't really feel the same when you explore. There's a, not a lot of exploring for me, in my opinion, in Dark Souls 3. Not the kind of I like. I like the uh, Dark Souls 1 so open. Uh, Dark Souls 1 is like the world can go anywhere at one time. At any time. Like, Heroes get about that too. I think like actual like open world games though overwhelm me. Like I love Breath of the Wild, but that game can be a little overwhelming sometimes. I couldn't finish Witcher 3, not because I didn't love it, I loved it, but because like there is just too much content. And I was doing I couldn't I'm the person who can't like stop doing side quests. And like since there were so many side quests and so much main story, it kind of became overwhelming. Oh, it's my first life. Thank you. Oh, that's not my first life. Fuck! I fell again. I hate this monkey. Uh. Actually, got that one easily. Hula Hoop might have actually been better for that one, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, Witcher 3 was just kind of overwhelming, because there was just so much content. And I know that seems like a weird thing to complain about, I'm not really complaining about it. Like, I don't take it as a negative for the game, it's just more like me personally. Me personally, I have a lot of difficulty finishing games that are, there's too much of. Because I have a lot to do with my own writing and reading and shit. Fuck, I'm so bad at platforming. Um, but yeah, like... I won't blame you if you guys fucking fast forward through my shitty platforming. And just stop watching. Oh no. Alright. Uh, I kind of forgot to... Uh, uh, Keep a chi or whatever uh, helps you. Oh, can I not break that window? No, that feels like a real waste of a window. Not be broken. You'll probably notice that I'm fuck. I'm really bad at the platforming in this game. Like the games that have more like advanced platforming. I think like the last one. Uh, the last stage is kind of, I'm kind of a mess at. Uh, it might also have to do with the fact I'm fucking starving. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to call it after this world. Just because of how fucking hungry I am. Jesus fuck. Alright. I swear to god if I fall off this time I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Alright, there we go, I got it. Ah. Alright, so, I am gonna call it there, uh, I will upload a new one soon, and, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me for whatever reason. Bye bye! I'm, I'm being sarcastic, if you enjoyed watching me, that's because I'm awesome. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to stop sharing. All right. This is going to be an awkward, awkward finish. You ready? All right. Let's see if I can get this shit done. All right. Uh, now, uh, bye-bye for real. All right. Let's stop broadcasting.